We are back with another Silverado video this time. If you saw the title, then you obviously know that we're putting wireless charging in the 2019 Silverado RST. And to do that, we are going to be installing this wireless charging center console. This is an official GM center console ordered from 404 parts. Link in the description down below. Not a sponsor, but if anyone else wants to check them out, click the link. And go see what kind of options they got they got a couple of different uh, upgrades and official gm parts that you can use to modify your truck so this should not be that difficult of a change we just got to take the center console out of the truck and then put this one in it's supposed to be plug and play with the wiring harness that comes with it so let's get to it so the first thing we have to do is remove these side panels on each side of the center console so that we can get this top part out. And to take this out, we're gonna be working on first getting this little panel off back here. That was pretty simple. And then there is a bolt inside there that we gotta take out. I'm using a little ratcheting screwdriver with a ratchet adapter on the end. It is a seven millimeter head on this bolt. So we got that one out. Now we got to pull out this side panel. Most of the clips holding this in are going to pull towards the door. The only place that's not is going to be a clip that's right here. This one has to be pulled back towards the back seat. So you want to start with the rest of the panels, clips, pulling them towards the door to get them out and then save this part for last and slide it back. We shouldn't have to pull it completely out. We should be able to leave it like that because it is now unattached from the part of the center console we need to remove. So we're gonna just go around, do that on the other side and then move on to the next part. All right, you can see I pulled off the passenger side now. We're gonna take off these trim pieces on both sides and the cup holders because those are gonna be used in the new center console. I would recommend getting an actual trim tool, a non-marring trim tool. I forgot to order one when I was getting ready to do this. So I'm just using the same little tool that I used in the gauge cluster upgrade video. Just gonna be as careful as I can, not to scratch anything. Now that all those are removed, we're going to take out this right here. And we also need the rubber for the cup holders. Got a lot of little places that this rubber pops into, so I'm just gonna pull it up and out. We're gonna work on prying this out. Okay. 
Now that we have the center console loose, we're just gonna look under here and you notice that there's plug-in that you've got to get out there. So we just gotta take this out and we'll be done deconstructing the center console. Right, to get this wiring harness out, I'm gonna want to push the clip in with a small screwdriver to get it to release. And that is it for removing the old center console. So I realized that I missed a pretty big step, which is to remove the center stack so that you can plug the wiring harness in where it needs to go. So I've taken the trim pieces off using that little pry tool that I was using, including the trim piece that's down here at the bottom. Now I'm taking these little torch screws out. There's six of them, three on each side. So one that goes there, one that goes there, there, down there, there, and over there. So you're actually going to plug the harness in for the new one to the back of this port here. This little gray port all the way down here at the bottom is the one that you're going to unplug. You're going to plug the male end of the new harness into the back of the center stack and the female end into the harness that you're unplugging right here. It's a few days later and the new console is in with the wireless charger. I used my phone to do these recordings so I can't show you it working but it does work. I tested it earlier after we got everything put back together. We did have a bit of an issue with getting the wiring harness connected back here behind the round 12 volt port there aren't a lot of instructions that come with this kit and it didn't really explain how to get that connector out and we looked online couldn't really find a lot of information online either uh, basically on that connector once you pull the red tab out that allows you to release the clip that's holding it in place there are two sides on the bottom of that connector that you have to push both at the same time in order to get to release. And we couldn't see it the way that it was in the car. So we would try to squeeze one side of it, thinking we were squeezing, you know, in the right place, it wouldn't come out. So we kind of, without being able to see what we were doing, shift our grip to a different spot, squeeze it again, wouldn't come out. Basically we were squeezing one side at a time instead of both sides together. Uh, but once we figured it out, got a good grip on the bottom of that connector, Made sure we were squeezing both the left and right sides of that clip. We slid right out. We connected the wiring harness in. Got everything put back together. So now it's looking really good. I really like the way this console looks with that wireless charger. So now the only thing left to do is see if we can set up this. CarPlay to Air. You've probably seen ads for this on on social media, YouTube, maybe see some videos for it. Basically, it's supposed to let you use wireless Apple CarPlay. All right, we got it out of the box. We've got the user manual here. We're just gonna go through this setup process. So we're going to crank the engine. And the first thing we gotta do, make sure that radio is turned down. First thing we gotta do is connect this to a USB port. I'm gonna connect it to this one in here. I don't really want it just kind of dangling out of that one. So I'm going to connect it right here. So that's kind of hidden. So you want to make sure your phone is connected to your vehicle's Bluetooth if you haven't already. I did not have mine connected to my truck via Bluetooth because I've been using the cable for Apple CarPlay. 
So I went through, connected my phone to my truck via Bluetooth, came up and said, do you want to use Apple CarPlay with your iPhone? Because the dongle is, well, I call it a dongle. This CarPlay to air USB thing is connected. And now we can see my phone is obviously not plugged in because like I said, I'm using it for recording. Apple CarPlay up and running. No cables coming out of there going to my phone. No cables coming out of there going to my phone. So yeah, that's really it. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put like some 3M tape on the back of this and just kind of stick it to the front wall of this console right here. Make sure it's not pulling on the USB too much. But yeah, that's it. I now have wireless charging and wireless Apple CarPlay in my truck. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful if this is something that you're looking at doing. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See y'all in the next one.